Let's go now to our Weather Authority Chief Meteorologist, Dan Sianka. Dan, how are we today? Well, we had an interesting weekend with a little bit of rain to start things off, but a warm finish. And as we've started our work week, it's even nicer out there. Let's take a live look from Domenico's on the Wharf. We are in full on golden hour here on the Central Coast. No clouds in the sky at all right now. Just a lot of sunshine, which has capped off a day with high temperatures in the 70s for many locations. And if you weren't in the 70s, you were probably in the high 60s, which in all cases was warm for this time of year. Let's take a look at what's going on out there right now. The big storm tracker showing high pressure and control right overhead right now, and that's blocking weather systems off to the north. It's been ro raining in the uh, Oregon and Washington coastal regions today. Snow up into the mountains of Idaho and Montana. That's where all of the inclement weather is, and we're just sitting under this big dome of high pressure. However, as I switch over here, what we're going to see in the weather pattern is you're going to see these little dips uh, come by over the next couple of days. The ridge just offshore. We got another little dip coming by uh, Thursday into Friday. We got another little dip coming by and deepening here across the West Coast. All of these are weather systems in the upper levels that are going to be passing by us. Maybe not having direct impacts on us as far as the precipitation is concerned as that will be well displaced from our region. With that said, though, it will be ushering in cooler air masses at the surface. So we've got a warm start to the week, but these air masses, these dense, cool air masses are going to come in from the north over the course of the week. They'll come splashing through kind of like waves on the beach and each one of them bringing some slightly cooler air and also some offshore winds and they will get gusty over the hills at times over the next couple of days. So I'm expecting a little bit of wind, but we won't see much in the way of clouds over the next seven days. So this is future cast overnight tonight into tomorrow. It is showing a few passing high clouds out there as we wake up tomorrow morning should provide us a nice sunrise if you like colorful skies as the sun is rising tomorrow morning, but I'm not expecting any fog or anything out there. Things pretty calm as we wake up tomorrow morning. With that said, a little bit of a wind over the ridge tops, and those will those winds will increase as we head through the day tomorrow. Future cast is showing mostly sunny skies tomorrow throughout the day. It'll be another very warm day with a light offshore breeze early in the day, a light sea breeze late in the day. And that's going to mean another day with high temperatures well above normal. We're going to be back into the 70s in Santa Cruz and Capitola tomorrow. 70s, in fact, upper 70s in places like Ben Lomond tomorrow. So much warmer, well, not much warmer than today, maybe a degree or two warmer than today for most locations, but much warmer certainly than the temperatures we experienced last week for that matter. 78 in Ben Lomond, going to be toasty there tomorrow. Well, Watsonville coming back at you in the mid 70s tomorrow. 78 in Salinas, 76 in Hollister, and even 70s back toward the Bay. Marina, Aptos in the 70s for you. How about the Monterey Peninsula? Will we make the 70s there? Well, right now it looks like everywhere except Pacific Grove, and you'll be very close. Might as well just put a 70 on there. It could get crazy, but right now I've got you at 69. 73 in Monterey and then farther south, some more upper 70s up and down the Salinas Valley. And again, these temperatures quite warm for this time of year. We should be in the low to mid 60s for most locations. But then there is the wind. So conditions, at least in the low levels on the coast, will be breezy, maybe not necessarily windy, but those winds will pick up uh, Wednesday and probably stay with us into the weekend. Notice the temperatures will be cooler. We will have some colder air masses coming in from the north. And while the highs should be at or above normal, it will certainly feel cooler than early this week. And finally, on Monday, well, what is that happening there? That looks like rain in the forecast. And yes, there is a weather system. Looks like it's going to sneak in somewhere in the Monday to Tuesday time frame next week. That'll be March 1st or 2nd, which can bring some light rain to the region. We'll watch that for you. The model runs today made it look a little bit more impressive. So, well, we'll keep an eye on it for you. Inland areas, you've got wind over the hills over the next couple of days. So they'll be strong at times, gusting to 35 miles per hour over, over some of the peaks. So uh, temperatures will be cooling down slowly as we head into the weekend. And again, we'll be watching for those rain chances next week, so stay tuned to the forecast. Thank you, Dan.